<laughs> they do lose their tempers. They throw things around the house if they get annoyed. A lot of people don't feel they fit in. There's a lot of peer pressure um, to kind of live up to expectations. Teenage years are a, a time where the brain's developing very fast um, and teenagers naturally can be quite difficult and can be quite stroppy um, and what's important here is a, what is actually also very difficult is working out whether the behaviour is normal teenage behaviour or there's something else going on. Stress for teenagers is basically, I suppose, could be defined as where there's a pressure, a threat, and they're not sure what to do, and they're not sure how to control it. And so they start to become anxious, they may not sleep well, they may not eat well, and they become moody, irritable, uncooperative. Do talk to your friends, you know, ask them if, um, you know, if they had similar experiences. Sharing these problems is really important. Sometimes you can exercise judgment and you could say, I'll let, I'll let her sort this out herself, you know, because she's got to learn. But there are some instances where I think that should never, ever happen. If you see any form of alcohol abuse or drug abuse. Also, if your child makes any threats of self-harm, um, you take them 100% seriously. Never leave a, a teenager alone to sort out that type of problem. You can always tell tensions are brewing because a teenager tend to be very stroppy when they're not happy. So it's very easy, shoulders down, face upside down. It's normally that they need to get it out in the open and the only way to do that is, is to start back chatting or be cheeky and then it all comes to the forefront with tears and you don't understand this happened today. Sometimes it's difficult to tell the difference between um, stress and actual depression. Depression in adolescence is an overwhelming sense of hopelessness. That, that sense that the world is a terrible place, there's nothing I can do. There is lots of help out there and, and do seek it and do open up and don't feel that, you know, it's just a problem for you on your own. You're not on your own in terms of dealing with your teenager. My advice is start to build the connection. Get the dialogue going. It's never too late. You can be close to your child in many different ways. So don't feel passive and don't just sit back and say, we're so far apart we can't do anything. Anything at all you do will help forge that connection and there's no substitute for that.